Hi, I'm Andrew Mitchell. Today we're going to talk about vacant land held by a pedigreed QEF. The facts under this video are essentially the same as in the previous video. Stan is a non-resident alien owning 60% of FC. Betty is a US citizen who owns 40% of FC. In year one, Betty and Stan contribute $100 into FC. Also in year one, FC purchases foreign land for $100. In years two through four, there's no activity in FC. In year five, FC sells the land for $120 at a gain of $20. In year six, FC liquidates, distributing the cash up to Stan and Betty. For year one, Betty elects to treat FC as a qualified electing fund or QEF. FC provides Betty the required QEF annual information statements for all years. The land is considered a passive asset. FC is a PFIC with respect to Betty. And as mentioned, Betty makes an election to treat FC as a QEF. Because the QEF election was in the first year of Betty's holding period, FC is a pedigreed QEF. Again, the gain in year five was $20. The gain is a long-term capital gain to FC. Betty's share of the gain is $8. The $8 flows through to Betty and is taxable to her as long-term capital gain in year five. Betty receives an $8 increase in her basis in the shares of FC. In year six, FC liquidates, distributing the cash up to the shareholders. Betty's gain calculation is that she receives $48 worth of cash. Original basis was $40 and it was adjusted upward by eight in year five. So her adjusted basis is $48. So she has zero gain in year six. Now under alternate facts, what would happen if FC had not sold the land in year five and Betty had sold the shares of FC at a gain of $8 at the beginning of year six? So Betty would have a gain of $8 in year six because she wouldn't have a basis increase in her shares in year five. The $8 of gain in year six is treated as long-term capital gain because FC is a pedigreed QEF. The gain is not subject to the excess distribution rules and Betty gets taxed at the reduced rates on capital gains. In the prior video, Betty had not made any elections. And if there was a land sale in year five and then the liquidation in year six, she was taxed on the gain as an excess distribution. Under the alternate facts, she was also taxed with an excess distribution. Here, with a QEF election in year one and a pedigreed QEF, she has long-term capital gain in year five and no gain in year six. And on the alternate facts, she also has long-term capital gain this time in year six. So she gets the benefit for both scenarios if it's a pedigreed QEF. So making the election in year one was beneficial to her no matter what happened in later years. In the next video, we'll talk about what if a QEF election is made in year five and we have a non-pedigreed QEF. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the video.